Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an absolute treat for all you fans out there. We see Dr. Sean Murphy's first full day at St. Bonaventure Hospital in The Good Doctor Season 1 Episode 2. The other doctors still find it hard to accept him for who he is, and his attention to detail with his patients is putting him into difficulty. The second installment of the show was thrilling to see because the first one had been so disappointing. Richard Skiff and Freddie Highmore are just as amazing as they were on The Good Doctor Season 1 Episode 2. But, the viewer also gets to appreciate the other characters a little bit more. Antonia Thomas's portrayal of Dr. Claire Brown already comes off as more likable and relatable. She still has flaws, just like everyone else, but we can see the hardened mask start to come off. She is more empathetic towards Sean and will defend him from others who mistreat him. Thomas is a master at striking a balance between Claire's goodness and her shortcomings. Her reminder to Dr. Kalu that he was operating on a real person, and not just something he was doing for fun was very appreciated. Her on-screen presence made me genuinely care, and I didn't find the scenes with her and the other doctors to be as drawn out as they were in the pilot. Instead than hopping from place to place like they did in the pilot, the episode's flashbacks concentrated on a single plot. This episode gives the audience a glimpse inside Sean's childhood and how it shaped the man he is today. Although Dr. Glassman does hurry Sean's brother to the hospital when he is in critical condition, it's a welcome and much-needed respite from all the tragedy that the Good Doctor Season 1 Episode 1 dropped on the audience. It feels less dramatic than the pilot, though, because that is the only truly devastating flashback. It is true that I wish we had learnt about Sean's background gradually rather than discovering all of these horrors at once. Understanding that he became a surgeon as a result of his brother's death, without necessarily understanding how he passed away, might have had greater impact. The first part of the show seemed to have revealed far too many secrets. It may have been a different first episode if the flashbacks had been more prominently featured in the pilot. But seeing these sharper focused flashbacks is comforting. It makes me optimistic about this show's future. The portrayal of young Sean by Graham Vircher makes it particularly simple to appreciate the flashbacks. Vircher was cast in the ideal role. His Sean and Highmore's are a perfect match, leading the spectator to believe that Sean became the modern-day doctor. When he's on screen, he's mesmerizing. I usually dislike when TV shows use a lot of flashbacks, but this episode never bothered me in the slightest. I did wonder how Sean entered the operating room unannounced and operated on Martine without anyone stopping him. It's his first day as a surgical resident at the hospital. Before what we witnessed in the show, an attending or Dr. Glassman would have stopped that, I'm sure. Even though Sean is intelligent, he isn't yet prepared for that degree of surgery. That was one of the few moments, though, that had me ask myself, what did I just watch? In contrast to last week, the excessive use of graphics and medical jargon were reduced in this episode. Although they remained, they did not detract nearly as much from the episode as they did from the pilot. It felt like a much better pace, too. It didn't seem like a long episode, and I didn't find myself watching the timer to see how much more was left, compared to last week's program which made me check my watch at least 7 times in 45 minutes, it is a significant improvement. Even though I knew the show had a lot of potential, I was afraid it wouldn't live up to my expectations after seeing the pilot. But after watching The Good Doctor Season 1 Episode 2, it seems like the creators are beginning to realize what has to be done to elevate this program to the next level. Having this show on the air would be revolutionary, Therefore I hope this progress continues. It is imperative that autism be represented on television, and I would hate for this show to disappoint everyone. You may view The Good Doctor online and share your thoughts with us. Did you enjoy the episode this week, or are you still not a fan of the show? Please weigh in below. If you're hungry for more juicy content, check out our playlist for other fantastic series breakdowns and movie analyzes. And as always, may the force be with you, fellow geeks. See you in the next one.